Hello everyone, this is Jordan at Pure Elliott Wave, and I'm here today with some technical analysis for you on the ETF KWeb, which is a Chinese internet ETF looking for some exposure to that market. I actually heard about this ETF uh, maybe a few weeks ago from a friend at a friend's house, and he was going on about this ETF. So it's kind of crazy that we had a member at Pure Elliott Wave request it. Uh, so let's get into that technical analysis now. We're going to go through the monthly, the weekly, and the daily charts. On the monthly chart for KWeb, we're showing back to 2016. However, this ETF does go back all the way to 2013, where it was mostly flat. And since then, we've had a large increase in price to almost $105, and then a crash down to around $17 at the bottom here. Since then, we've had a rally and a pullback. It appears to be a consolidation right now. Throughout the history, we've had a couple notable candlestick patterns. We've had a piercing pattern right here, where we had a large downtrend. This green candlestick opened up below and closed at least 50% of the way through the red candlestick. That led to a large increase at the top. We had a very strong evening doji star and a bearish engulfing. Since then, it has really, really, really crashed hard and volume increasing to the downside. Since the bottom here, it was flat and decreasing for the past few months through 2023. There's also been a recent bearish engulfing candlestick at the top here which stopped prices at this resistance level. Since then, found support around the 24.20 area and has had a slight bounce. Resistance overhead is long held. This is about five tests, including this one, and that's at 35.79, and then also some resistance overhead at 60.66. The volume profile here Decreasing is a classic sign of consolidation right now. Unbalanced volume has formed a pretty nice range here with nearly four tests to the top side, and it's also very flat. So this range, especially the upper one, is strong. And if we did see unbalanced volume break through this upper channel, that could be a signal for bullish prices to come. The lower range here also pretty strong. However, it was recently broken twice. It has one, two, three, four tests along it. So also look out if unbalanced volume did break down from this range, that could be a bearish signal. There is some bearish divergence with price here and money flow, where price made a higher high, money flow made a lower high, and that led to a crash. And recently, there's been a pivot here and here Money flow is calculated at the close, so we need to use the close of the candles. And there was a lower low, and money flow made a higher low here. So that was a bullish signal. And at the bottom here, ADX showed a just extreme bearish trend. Since then, it has been indicating no trend, which is what we are seeing now. I'd, categorize this as a consolidating price action right now. RSI is neutral, having reached overbought at the top. Stochastics are neutral, and ATR is overall decreasing recently, and it was increasing with the bearish price movement, so it is favoring bearish volatility, because recent prices have been up, and yet ATR is decreasing. With ADX showing no clear trend, we expect price to move from support to resistance and stochastics to move from oversold to overbought. Right now then, we are expecting price to move from support below to resistance above and stochastics to move from oversold. Now it may move to overbought with the no clear trend observed on ADX. So I'd expect price to move upwards towards resistance at this time to around 35.79. And then from there, we would expect either 
ADX to begin a trend from there forward or price to reverse from that resistance overhead. However, you'll see on the lower time frames, there is a good case for a long-term bottom here. RSI, this was actually the lowest RSI has been with this ETF in its history. And you can see some strong patterns in here on the weekly and the daily charts. Right now, the moving averages, the two-year moving average is decreasing and over the short one-year moving average, which is also decreasing overall, these moving averages are fully bearish. On the weekly chart, you can see a little bit closer look. Here's the bottom here where we had that large green candlestick, the next low, and then a pivot up. And overall, this looks to be a consolidating up and down price action. This is the 200-day moving average currently sloping up and prices right now are just below the 200-day moving average, but it does have a bullish look to it right now. You can see a strong reversal pattern here. That was a morning star, and this morning star is extremely, extremely strong. It did have bullish support from volume as well. Overall though, volume has been decreasing over the past year and a half. Support below is close at 24.2, resistance overhead, as mentioned before. And at the top here in January to December 2023, we had hanging men, which led to a decrease. And there's no candlestick patterns here to note other than the bullish lower wicks right now. The divergence that was noted here is where price made a lower low on a closing basis and then RSI actually made a higher low with bullish divergence and that did give us a strong bullish rally from that bottom. On balance volume right now shows a strong range with one, two, three, four, five to six tests along this upper edge and the lower edge also strong as well with maybe three to four tests along the bottom. So a break out of this range would also be a strong bullish or bearish signal for the future price movement. Money flow is neutral. ADX is showing no clear trend. This whipsawing between the ADX lines is characteristic of consolidation, which we are seeing now. However, it could be setting up for a strong signal to the bull side if ADX did spike above 15 and above both DX lines. And that may correlate well with a reverse head and shoulders pattern that I'll show you on the daily chart. I've already talked about RSI, that bullish divergence in the past, and currently neutral stochastics with ADX showing no clear trend. We are paying attention to stochastics. They are neutral and they did move from overbought to oversold. Next, they may move from oversold to overbought and price may reach that resistance overhead before either starting a new trend or reversing. ATR overall has been decreasing with the consolidation. ATR overall has been decreasing with the consolidation. Now let's move to the daily chart. Here we have the daily chart. This chart is pretty busy right now. You can see the past four months of data and what's evident immediately is much more support and resistance zones, particularly this lower one here. This one's very strong with one, two, three, four, five, six tests along it. So support at 26.56, very strong right now. And then you also see this reverse head and shoulders with a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. This is our neckline that we're watching now. A break over this neckline would potentially result in extreme bullish momentum, and a thrust for that could be calculated from the breakout zone to the bottom here, the base of the head. Candlestick patterns to note, besides the head and shoulder, are the hammer at the bottom, which was very strong and then a very strong morning star with a large push from volume here. So two strong bullish reversal patterns. At the top near resistance, we had a bearish engulfing. These three levels at 30, 28, and 26 are not pictured on the weekly and the monthly charts. So just a heads up about that. They are significant on the daily level. We have traced out these 
in this consolidation, so these are important to watch moving forward. Overall, the recent volume profile looks bullish. You can see strong volume on the green candlesticks and lower volume on the red candlesticks. The on-balance volume on the daily chart also shows a strong range with one, two, and you might be able to call these tests here, but it is a strong line coming across here and a break upwards with confidence out of this would be a bullish signal. The line to the bottom is moderately strong with only two tests, the minimum, and has a slight slope to it. Money flow is currently neutral with no notable divergence with the price. ADX showing no clear trend and stochastics recently reached overbought, moving to oversold. RSI is neutral with slight bullish divergence between the bottom here and here with price and RSI made a slight higher high, which led to bullish prices for the short term. With ADX showing no clear trend, resistance overhead and just tested, price could continue downward to test support for the short term until stochastics reach oversold. ATR is overall flat with the consolidation, but it is actually increasing with bullish prices, so volatility is favoring the bullish price moves right now. I'm going to shift back to the weekly chart to summarize the findings here. Overall, all three charts do have a bullish bias for the medium to long term with the strong support for bottoms here and here on the daily chart. Also, you can see price is clearly consolidating right now. However, if we did see a move up above 30 on the daily or 35.79 in a break of that shorter term head and shoulders pattern, then that would be extremely bullish in my opinion and add confidence to a bullish price movement. However, right now we are still consolidating and waiting for those signals to appear. ADX also setting up for a strong trend shift and volume overall decreasing. I'd like to see a break over this line for confidence in a bullish price movement. So that is all from me, Jordan here at Pure Elliott Wave. Don't forget our new gold service is available until tomorrow. If you'd like to sign up for that, click on the link in the description below. Until next time, see you later.